There we go. Okay, Rachana. So in the, uh, the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. So first, I'd like to ask you about your hometown. What kind of place is your hometown? To tell you the truth, uh, you know, uh, my hometown is 200 kilometers far away from where I'm currently living. So it's in the middle of nowhere, but I admire my hometown a lot because there are a lot of things uh, just to for the tourists, for instance, like the famous temple is there and the river is there just to do the adventures like the rafting and the boating. Okay. Well, can you tell me about the most interesting place in your hometown? The most fascinating place that's in my hometown is that many people from all around the world, they come there for the better education system uh, because the education system there is pretty good. Uh, many renowned university of my country lies there, for instance, like uh, Trivium University, which is the most well-known university of my country. On top of that, you know, different hotel and restaurants are also there and they are becoming more popular nowadays. Hmm. So what changes would you like to make to your hometown? You know, of course, it's a developing country. So there need to be the few things that need to be changed in upcoming days. Uh, for example, like the rainy system there is not pretty good. Uh, during the rainy season, season, during that time, the water that log on the road. So because of that, a lot of injuries is happening. Uh, many people, they just sleep on the road and uh, mostly on the summer time that it smells because of the water. So I think that's need to, uh, these things need to be undertaken by the metropolitan city of my hometown. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on to talk about animals. So what kinds of animals are popular pets in your country and why? Here in my country, nowadays, every people, they just love to have pets in their house. And uh, cats, dogs, rats, snakes, and elephants, they are the most important thing that the people this is love to prefer to have in their home because you know when you're just feeling down in the dorm during that time if you have animal with you then that helps them to cheer up with you so you will forget everything about your work and about the hectic things that's happening in your mind so i think it's mandatory to have one pet in your house <laughs> well how are animals in your country used for work? Here in my country, uh, a lot of animals, because of their kindness and because of they are familiar with the human being, they have been using this. You know, elephant, they, people mostly are using this in the name of transportation for carrying the goods from one place to another. On top of that, you know, in the mm, national parks, the elephants, the big elephants are there. So uh, the people just go there uh, just to see them. From there, they can know about the habitats and the species of that. On top of that, you know, sometimes uh, the animal, people, they are just uh, taking that, uh, the things at their home uh, just to make them as a friend. And for the security and the safety purpose also, they are using these things time and again. Hmm. Well, are there any animals that have special significance in your country? Mm, of course, yes. Uh, you know, animal like leopard, it's our national animal. And uh, that animal is in the note of 100 rupees. And everywhere you, where you use that cast, you can see that. And this is the rear animal here in my country, which is in the verge of extinction. Mm. Okay. So let's see. We can, we can move on to part two. So now I'm going to give you a topic 
and I would like you to talk about it for one or two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have a minute to think about whatever you would like to say. You can make some notes. Hopefully you have some uh, paper and pencil, right? Alrighty, then here is your topic. Let me, uh, there we go. Uh, let me format it a little bit so that you can see it clearly. And then, and you can uh, feel free to begin taking notes if you'd like. Okay, so your your minute will begin now. All right. Please begin speaking now. Uh, here, I'd like to take opportunity to talk about the one controversial issue and the problem that's happening all around the world. That's none other than pollution. Not only one pollution. It's about the air pollution, water, sound pollution, everything. The ultimate consequences is happening, the global warming. So... Uh, and nowadays, human beings uh, are the main cause of this is because of the increase in the vehicle on the road. You know, now as compared to the back in the days, now nowadays you you are facing a lot of traffic jams on the road because of that. That emits the harmful gases and that ultimately pollute your ear as well as the unnecessary horn also helps to add in the sound pollution, which we have been seeing these from the decades. And on top of that, uh, nowadays the industries, they are also building in the bustling city. They are not caring about or making the appropriate places to make or industrialize them. So because of that, the car carbon dioxide or the harmful gases is adding in the surrounding and the ultimate consequences of this is for the human beings and animals is the people are facing a lot of respiratory problems like asthma and the COPD which is the most uh, commonly related diseases is we have seen not only in the elderly people one for the youngster as well so for these many things we can take for that to solve is people are doing a lot of things. For instance, they are doing the recycling of the item, like people that just prefer to use the metal bottle instead of carrying the plastic one. All right, excellent. Stop sharing. Okay. Uh, do you ever uh, do you ever discuss the, such environmental issue with your peer group, your friends or colleagues? Frankly speaking, definitely yes, because I just want to contribute to my planet. So for that also, nowadays, every time I do have notion about the things that I have to do something for my galaxy. So for that, when I'm hanging out with my friends or with my family, during that time, I love to have this conversation with them. For example, like that, how I could do something for my planet, whether that's 
by recycling the items or using uh, the tote bag instead of carrying the plastic bag while I'm going to purchase the, the grocery or going for the shopping, the clothes or the shoes. So these are the things that I have been discussing with my friends in this time. All right. Well, since you've been talking about an environmental problem, a local problem in your country, I'd like to move on and talk about a more general global environmental issue. So can you tell me about uh, some environmental problems that are affecting multiple countries these days? Of course, yes. This has been the hot potato issue all around the world. So because of that, every world people, they they are doing or showing their concern in these things is we have seen a lot of consequences all over the world. For example, like that, uh, just a couple of weeks ago in the Japan, the flood, we have seen that flood over there. Because of that, many coastal people are affecting their lives and they are losing their beloved one. It's all about the increase in the sea level. And the ultimate thing is because of the greenhouse effect. So on top of that, many disasters is happening and these are becoming the more common problem for the people. For instance, the glacier that's melting and increasing the level of the sea and the many habitats of the animal, they are losing day by day and becoming more endangered because of the different kinds of pollution. Additionally, uh, the, because of these things, the disaster like the earthquake is that's happening in my country a few years back also. And it's all about the environmental consequences are because of uh, the more dense population all over the world and people are not giving their concern in these things. Hmm. Okay. Do you think that countries are doing enough? Are they sufficiently addressing these environmental problems? Are they doing enough in your opinion? As far as I'm concerned, definitely they they are showing their concern in these things. However, still few things need to be done to protect this. Like is um, every people nowadays they are becoming more concerned concerned about doing the recycling the things like using the plastic boat, not using the plastic item. In the state of that, using the metal bottle. On top of that, afforestation is something that the people all around the world, they are becoming more concerned with so that they can also decrease different kinds of pollution like the land and the sound pollution and all. From where ultimately is a result of which we can also preserve the different kinds of species and also make the soil fertile. This has been doing by the, the world but also still few things have to be done in this topic. Hmm. Well, why do uh, some people don't really consider environmental issues to be all that serious? Why is that? Uh, in my opinion, it differs from people to people. Every people, they won't be taking everything as seriously as the other people. So there might be the their personal difference. So uh, what they believe is that in this fast pace of life, they have to compete with other things like the job or they have a lot of stress in their mind how to face the challenges that come later on their life about their family or just to tackle with the technology, the advancement which is happening nowadays. They might take these things it seriously so because of that, these things might be in the shadow for them. Let's let's consider uh, some of the some of the environmental issues that are primarily the disasters that are caused by humans. So uh, among all of the all of the problems or the environmental degradation that humans create, what's the the worst, the most serious in your mind? Could you repeat the question, please, sir? What uh, uh, if we consider if we consider human caused environmental degradation, then what is the most serious aspect uh, of the environment that humans are 
causing the destruction. In my perspective, you know, definitely it's all about the human. Then the if they are doing some consequences, then they have to do the positive side or what's how could they improve in this thing? So human need to be more responsible than than any other beings. So for that, they have to do some contribution just to prevent the the act of the gods that's happening nowadays. Like as I mentioned before that if the people uh, they do some part for their planet by doing the afforestation, then that will be good for them in their later life and that they can say something or they can give the handover to their next generation as well about the planet and the things that they have done. So I think it's mandatory for them to do. All right. Thank you, Rachana. You did very well.